fuck it is, man. It's Pill Bellamy in this bitch, you heard me? Is you mad enough? It's the real spill with P Bill. Episode 11, you hear me? Boy, 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 we about to get into it. Let's talk A Verb versus Sue Surf, bro. We gotta talk A Verb versus Sue Surf. This shit is like, Verb. I fuck with you, bro. I'm gonna keep it a being with you. You seem like the emotional one. Every space that I listen to on YouTube, every, I mean, except for the one where you was like reasoning with Yoshi. Other than that, every space that somebody had recorded, bro, every space that was recorded by somebody else that was uploaded to YouTube, right? With your name in the title has been about Sue Surf, bro. You can't stop talking about Sue Surf. Now, this is the funny part. I'm not going to lie. This is the shit that had me dying laughing when I actually thought about it. Yo, on his spaces, Averb don't let nobody talk. <laughs> Do you hear me? He don't let nobody talk, bro. It's just him. He's the host. He's the only one speaking. Everybody else is a listener. I lie to you not, bro. Unless he get like a special guest, like, bro, it be thousands of people in there just listening, bro. Bro, not only is that likability, bro, but that is fucking power, bro. Like that you could talk that well that people will just sit in the room as listeners. They don't even want to speak. They just going to. And they conscious of the fact that they know you're not uh, letting nobody up. Nigga, I'm, I opened this, this space to talk. So either you're going to listen or dip, you feel me? And they, bro, they sit there as listeners. Thousands of people. It be hundreds of people. Thousands. I, I seen it, bro. I seen it with my own eyes. And they be just listening to this thing and talk. Everybody is a listener. He be asking questions. Like, it's funny as shit because he be asking questions. But nobody can answer. Like, he, he be really literally asking. I'm so, so, y'all. So, I'm, 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 I'm going to I'm going right? Right? Um, 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 who the fuck let J2 in it? Who brought J2 into the coaching? Now, I'm, I'm, I'm asking y'all this question, right? And y'all motherfuckers better not bullshit me. Who, who brought J2 into the coaching? Who put him on Midnight Madness? And then the nigga will answer his own question, but he's... <laughs> Stop what you're doing, bro. Surf is like not paying any mind to you. Bill Collector don't even want to talk about you. You feel me? Jack don't bring you up like, bro, just stop what you're doing, bro. Stop what you're doing. But I'm going to tell you, Verb is a thinker, bro. He just, he just, but he's also an extremist. He takes everything to the extreme. Surf is a thinker. Surf is a more logical, rational thinker. Now, don't get it fucked up. Verb is very logical. You feel me? He's very rational. He just has his own way of explaining things. But if you listen, if you listen it, or if you, like, if you listen to this, bro, he be talking about the females and, bro, this nigga be on point, bro. And, like, his perspectives be, like, bro, his his perspectives be on point. He be speaking the truth. And I don't be hearing this nigga repeating or, or referencing anything Kevin Samuel said. Like, I know Verb can can thrive in, in that world. Feel me? I'm good at it. I know he'll thrive in that world. For a fact. You hear me? But but, but that, the point I'm making is that's crazy, bro. You feel me? But you got to stop what you're doing, bro. Like, use, the, use this power for good, bro. Like, just, you got to swallow your pride. And y'all two niggas got to talk and figure this out, bro. You being stubborn right now. Like, you want him to admit, admit to something like that, like, that he don't agree with. Like, y'all don't share the same sentiment. He don't felt like, he don't feel like he did any fuck shit. He feel like you did fuck shit, and, and that's why it's best that y'all separate. Because it's going to wind up becoming personal. Like, it's going to wind up, like, becoming some street shit. Like, niggas going to be really yakking and beefing, like, over some shit that started in battle rap. But the nigga Surf, he's about loyalty and respect. And he felt like that was some, some weird shit. Like, that shit was unnecessary. Like, it was like, like, you didn't have to do that. Like, it wasn't that serious. And then you had Yoshi, like... Being divisive, you feel me? Being crafty and shit, like, and it just complicated everything. But 
Verb, you gotta chill, bro. Like, it's not that fucking serious. I'm just keeping it in bed with you, like, because they really don't give a fuck. And Midnight, you keep criticizing Midnight Madness and trying to, like, like poke holes in it. You give them, like, stop what you're doing, bro. It's, you're going to see on the 28th, bro, is a legit thing, bro. I, I believe it. It's going to be very successful. Very. Do you know that Midnight Madness got battle rap trending on Twitter? Complex is talking about it. This is a fucking a big publication, Complex. Been around for probably decades or at least a decade. Feel me? Home of everyday struggle. Like, that's because of Midnight Madness. <laughs> I'm going to give it a bang. It's really because of Surf. Like, not really because it's because it's a compilation of everything. But Surf is like, he's like the battery, you feel me, in the back. You feel me? He he's that power source. So it's like, bro, you powerful too, but you just be it, bro. I, I respect it. That's real man shit. Like that's masculine shit. Like, that's really how we is. Like we're competitive, bro. We're so fucking competitive. But when pride get involved, that's when it becomes dangerous. I think he's very competitive, which is a masculine trait. You feel me? It's no problem with that. You feel me? Niggas love it too. To it become serious, even when it come become serious, niggas still love it, certain niggas. But when pride, it's pride that's like <laughs> pride is the fucking driving force behind what the all this shit he doing right now. Or like this smear campaign on Sue Surf and Midnight Bass. It's pride, bro. Pride, bro. <laughs> that's one, bro. That is one arrogant, prideful ass nigga, bro. I'm telling you. It is what it is, bro. You can't, I can't change him. You can't change him. It'll be so. Just relax, bro. <laughs> you bad enough.